Good afternoon, Plumber Jay here. I'm going to show you a quick tip or a problem uh, you can get with your well pump. So I'm here late Friday afternoon and I am trying to diagnose the customer had, a, had ran out of water and what was happening was his pump was going on and off, on and off. So I came out yesterday and I was able to get the switch to turn on, but I told them that inside the well down, like down inside the pipe, there's a check valve. And that's losing water. So I put a new switch in for him today and I told him it's not going to do anything. It'll just get him water for the weekend. But still he has a problem in his well. And he, uh, because I will never leave, I don't care what's going on in your personal life or whatever. You never leave out somebody without heat or water in my opinion. So what's happening is right now, I put a new switch in for him. You see over there. But you see here. With nothing running in this house, he's losing pressure because inside where this goes, the well going down, there's a check valve that allows water in and out. And when it loses water, that switch is like, hey, let me call for more pressure. It should not be doing this at all with nothing running in the house. There it goes. Turns back on. Now, another thing as well is... This is waterlogged. So even when you fix the outside, when you fix outside, the you pull the well, pull the pull the black, pull the the pump, replace everything in there, drop it back down, replace the check valve, the foot valve, so the check valve in there. With that working, when he runs water, you way you know your bladder tank is bad is when it goes on off, on and off. It doesn't build pressure, hold pressure, go down slowly. So he's got two issues. Issue number one, he's got to repipe all this with a new bladder tank because this is all incorrect. And then why is it incorrect? There's no drain. It's just not the proper way to pipe it in. And we got to pull the well, the well pump outside and replace a new pump possibly or a check valve in the line. So late Friday afternoon, I would never leave someone out water. So. They're going to have water for the weekend. It's just going to cost them a lot of electricity. I was able to install a new fuse on the left over there. But this is a very common problem that guys come out, plumbers come out, even fly-by-night guys, and they say, oh, man, let's just replace the pressure switch. They give you water, and that's tail light warranty, and they're gone. But they really know that the foot valve or check valve in the line isn't holding water, and that goes on and off. The way that he's going to know it's bad is that in the morning when he just builds pressure down all the way and turns it back on and the system air locks out and it just pulls all the water and then that's it. Now if it was a shallow well, you couldn't do this because the shallow well, it, you have a pump over here and it has a foot valve in, inside the casing and it's constantly sucking water out. Even if you have a two pipe Valori system. It's sucking water out, whereas here, whereas here, it's a deep well. So this deep well will will always be submerged in water. So it won't it should not lose prime, but he's going to be running with on and off pressure um, consistently until he either does this, which is going to run him sixteen hundred bucks, and the other one's going to run him almost two grand. So it's what it is. But those are issues that people have very common issues with well pumps. All right, thanks for watching. Plumber Jay out. Have a good weekend, y'all.